Hey, good afternoon, guys. Wanted to do a uh, short video update of some stuff we've done to the KRX. Uh, this right here is a tablet that I ordered off of Amazon. It's under $300. It's IP67 rated for, for water and dust. It's actually got a mil spec rating. Um, I don't remember exactly what the rating is, but it's a military spec rating. Uh, the toughest tablet I could find without spending $3,000. Um, and as far as durability and suitability for the types of environments that we like to ride in, um, this thing is probably the best. Uh, it's got better, uh, fall ratings, water ratings, dust ratings. Um, it's just better than, than the iPads. It's better than the Samsung tablets and it's truly just a fraction of the cost. So under $300 delivered to my doorstep. Um, I will put a link in the uh, comments below so you guys can uh, check it out and see what you think about it. It is a Chinese-made tablet. I'll, I'll give it that. But honestly, uh, all the tablets are Chinese-made. So good luck finding something that's American-made. Um, so with that being said, I also wanted to share the, the apps that I like and, and the reasons that I chose them. So the first app I'm gonna share is something that I seen on one of the KRX groups, um, maybe last year sometime somebody was using this. Uh, probably a pretty popular app by now. I know I've shared this with some of my friends, they've downloaded the app, and I may even say this wrong, but it's the Agama Car Launcher. And basically what this does is just gives you a quick interface to be able to grab the apps that you want. Uh, it's customizable. You can go in and choose the manufacturer of your particular vehicle. Um, if you're using it for power sports, that second link down, uh, you know, you can see it's got Kawasaki, KTM, Polaris. Uh, it's got the BRP, Can-Am. So uh, basically a lot of options for, for guys like us who are, are using them for power sports. Um, we'll go ahead and we're already using that so uh, with that being said the other apps that are on here that I like to use I use Amazon Music the reason I chose Amazon Music is just because it's downloadable you can uh, find the songs that you like download them straight to the tablet and then regardless of cell signal Wi-Fi signal you have all your music with you uh, it's an unlimited number of downloads I've, I've got a couple hundred songs I think uh, in my playlist that I use um, but with that being said, uh, nothing good is ever free. I do pay a, a small subscription fee to Amazon Music just to be able to have unlimited downloads. So uh, that's a choice y'all you know, get to make yourselves. Is it something worth spending some money on or not? I, I personally like it. Uh, when you go to the library, you can create your own, own playlists. Um, you can you know, pick your favorite songs, put them in, in playlists for yourselves. The next app that, that I'll share is actually what I like for maps. Uh, I use Onyx Off-Road. And the reason I use Onyx Off-Road is because it's really good at tracking. So if you're on trails that you're unfamiliar with or there's not maps, maybe you like to ride in your backyard, hit the hills and, and you see things you like, you can go out there. Um, track your, your route the whole way, map it out, set waypoints. If you come across a cool waterfall, uh, you can set waypoints to mark it so that you'll know how to get back there. Or if you're going really out there, um, it's a good way to help get yourself back to where you started. So that's the other app that I use. Uh, the other thing I like about this app is it actually shows property lines. So if you are out riding and you're not sure whose property you're on or, or where you're at, uh, you can actually zoom in and, and, and see the actual properties of, of the trails that you're on and who owns those so uh, again another pretty decent app um, the last one is this is something new I just got this um, I wanted a backup camera that I could actually see the one that came with the Rockford Fosgate stereo the screen is too small and quite frankly um, you just can't see it when the camera comes on if there's any glare at all you see that there, you're, you're, you're blind. There, there's no way to tell what's behind you. So I have a complete cab over on the back side of my KRX. I'll show you guys that when I get out to, to show you this. Um, if we go to the rear camera, you can actually see um, 
what you're backing up on. It's, it's kind of amazing to, to, to have such a wide, good view of where you're backing up. That camera stays on full time. I can ride with that camera on and still have music. That is a Wi-Fi camera, basically meaning that I, I put a power source to it on the rear bumper and it sends a signal back to the tablet. If you want to use your tablet for music and a backup camera, do not get a Bluetooth backup camera. Uh, if you get a Bluetooth backup camera, you can only use the camera or the music. You can't use both. If you get a Wi-Fi backup camera, your Bluetooth can still go to your head unit. So um took me a, a minute to figure that out, but uh, there's something that you may or may not be able to see down in that corner. I just laid a koozie out there um, just to show you. That's actually right up against the tire. It's really close. I laid another one there on the ground. I'll go show you uh, where those are out here. About stepped on my pooch. So you can see just how close um, those things are. Don't eat that ash. And in relation to the cameras mounted there, just inside the bumper so you can actually see the camera is right there and even with the camera right there you can see if you're getting ready to back over a ledge you're going to bump something uh, if there's uh, some obstacle that you need to either go around or just stop and avoid altogether you can see that really well um, as close as that machine is to those koozies and right there that's the orange koozie and the green koozie so uh, again you, you can actually see the tire tread with it all the way up against the back of the machine like that so it, it's it's a really good camera uh, I'll put links to that as well um, again for, for me uh, I've spent so much money on this this damn KRX uh, starting to, to appreciate the value of finding the, the 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 less expensive cheaper ways to do things as long as they're still functional so this tablet under three hundred dollars i think that camera was about thirty dollars maybe now the one thing that that i did go and and i didn't buy the cheapest version of was the actual mount for the tablet and the reason is because this is a very heavy tablet um, this weighs twice as much as an ipad that's the same size it is very beefy. Um, it's it's not that it's super huge or or or, or fat or anything. Um, you know, it, it's just a regular thickness. But it obviously either has some aluminum. Uh, it's got some metal built into it. It's just a really solid piece of equipment. So with that being said, I did do the ram mount for for mounting it because I use ram mounts in my. Uh, work vehicles uh, for my laptops. I'm, I'm used to them. I've had them for years. They're just super solid. Unfortunately, um, to, to get that type of quality, they're not giving it away for free. The, the mount itself was about 150 bucks. To me, it's worth it. I, I want this thing to stay where I put it. I don't want it bouncing all over the place. Um, this particular mount, you can lock the tablet in. Um, there's, and you can see, I'm not locking mine in yet. Um, the keys are still hanging on it, but you can lock that. And when that's locked, you can't remove the tablet without the key. So um, if you're going into a, a little general store on the trail, um, you're, you're parked outside your camper and you don't some, want someone stealing your, your crap, uh, it's, it's a novel idea. The one thing I will say is that anybody that has half the sense that the good Lord give a goose will just loosen that T handle there and that whole ball will pop out with it. So with that being said, it's a novel idea, um, but it's, it's not foolproof by any means. You could still get that off. So at, at any rate, that's the quick update. Um, lots of other things have happened to the KRX. I, I said I'd show you something when I got out. Uh, did completely enclose the rear end. Got bird crap all over it. Um, may do another video just on on what it took to close in that rear end. That's all custom fiberglass stuff. Um, you know, again, I tend to like things that, that no one else has, which means that a lot of the stuff that I've done to my KRX is, is stuff that I've had to build myself. Um, they just don't make the stuff that I like. And if they did, I'd probably be disappointed if I went on the trails and a hundred other people had the same stuff. So, uh, hey, y'all have a great afternoon. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll put some links at the bottom there for you guys if you're interested in the tablet, the camera, or the mount.
Have a good one, buddy. Be safe.